Pharmacies in West Michigan are catching up on prescriptions after the hacking of Change Healthcare caused delays all across the country. Here's Ace Kyle Mitchell explains how it impacted customers. Keystone Compounding Pharmacy says it's caught up on the backlog of prescriptions caused by the hack, but it's taking longer for the big pharmacy chains. If they couldn't fill them those weeks, then they're going to be made up in the, in the forthcoming weeks. Keystone Pharmacy says its business is back to normal after the hack of Change Healthcare made filing prescriptions very difficult for some customers. The customer would either have to wait for their prescription, if it was a new prescription, until the intermediary came back up and we could communicate back with the insurance companies, or they would have the option of paying the full cash price for their prescription and getting reimbursed. Getting a prescription filled is a digital process where doctors are connected electronically with pharmacies. For his pharmacy, the main company impacted was Express Scripts, which manages prescription benefits. When that intermediary goes down, and pharmacies aren't able to communicate with insurance companies for the patients, we have no idea if they're covered, we have no idea what their co-pays may be, we have no idea if the prescription that they're getting is going to be covered by the insurance company, so it really just puts a wall in the system that can't be overcome. Since uh, 2016, the attacks on hospitals and healthcare are, have doubled. BJ Busse, the program chair for cybersecurity at Grand Valley State University, says ransomware attacks like this are becoming more common. Generally, they will uh, hack into the server. Um, they will get access to data that is critical to the business. And they will, uh, you know, uh, copy data outside of the server, delete from the server, um, or encrypt on the server, and then ask you, for a ransom. He says you can't prevent every attack, so the best ways to be prepared are with backup systems and a plan in advance on how to respond to a data breach. We can uh, minimize the impact of these things on day-to-day -day operations by having a uh, disaster recovery plan and avoiding single point of failure. In responding to the attack, independent pharmacies like Keystone had greater flexibility that allowed it to help patients on a short-term basis until the hack issue was resolved. If we decide that a patient would be harmed by not receiving their medication for a few days, we make sure that they have their medications to get them through. Reporting near Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.